Hello everybody. How's everybody doing? I thought I would do a uh, walk around on my Kaufman trailer. Kind of like I've had this trailer for seven months. So I've had it long enough now. I uh, can give you all a review. I don't know if you've noticed in any of my other videos uh, from hauling hay this summer, a trailer or not. But anyway, I got a new trailer back in May. Needed something a little bit bigger, haul a little more hay on. Uh, the other trailer just wasn't uh, cutting it anymore, just wasn't big enough. So, thought I'd do a little walk around. As you can see, I got the trailer loaded pretty good today. Uh, 16,000 pound GBW trailer. And with the skid loader and the two buckets and the pallet fork, somewhere around 8,000 pounds sitting on the trailer. And the trailer weighs 4,400 pounds. So, oh, I'm just going to start here at the front and just mention things as I go. I like the coupler. I like the big toolbox. Um, you can get uh, a lot of chains in it. And a lot of um, ratchet straps, so I don't have to worry so much about forgetting things anymore. As you can see, it a uh, couple of stuffs on the trailer. So it's got nice big 10-inch I beams. Um, Got, uh, I just opted for the single jack. A uh, little awkward to crawl in there to get to it. And it cranks pretty slow. It would have been nice at two speed, and I don't remember if that was an option for this or not. Um, nice rub rails. And this trailer can be got in the uh, 14 or 16,000 pound version. When you get the uh, 16,000 pound, Let's see, you can see right here and right there. The cross members are 17, 16 or 17 inches on center, where on the lighter version, I think they were two feet. So one upgrade I did not do is I did not get the heavier axles. There was an uh, option for 8,000 pound axles. These are 7,000 pound. Uh, they seem to be holding up. I mean, I don't, I don't max the trailer out. Uh, I'm usually somewhere around, trailer's usually somewhere around 14,000 when I'm hauling hay, 14 to 15, so, uh, but anyway, 22 foot deck, 4 foot dovetail, so, I uh, forgot one thing up here to tell you, I don't know if you notice, here on the corners here, the two LED lights, which was an upgrade, I upgraded to the LED lights and the uh, sealed uh, wiring harness. But this light right here, if you got your mirrors adjusted down just a little low on your truck, at nighttime, that light is so bright it shines in your mirror. You think somebody's giving you the high beams. <clears throat> it's got nice rub rails and uh, tie downs. But like this tie down right here, see here, the cross members here, let me try to get you in focus, and the other one's here. So when you pull on that one, it kind of, it kind of bends the end in a little bit, or the rub rail. I don't care for that. The ramps are spring loaded. I think I got the sun in you guys, sorry. The ramps are spring loaded, which um, is very nice, but I'll show you here. They need to be a foot longer, so it would lessen the angle when you're loading the skid loader. And it, uh, <clears throat> that, and then I got the third ramp slide in. Let you pull this out. And then you slide the ramp out. That ramp is five foot long, 
in that, and I think it's almost two foot wide. The damn thing weighs like 100 pounds. They're over 100 pounds. So when you flop that, pull that out and it flops down on the ground, it almost takes two of you to pick it back up. I don't care for that. When I first got this trailer, the tag is right there. Thought that would be neat. Well, they didn't put enough wire in this. Third time I loaded skid loader, I pushed the ramp over too far and broke the wire. So, um, so those are, I've kind of went down to the good and the bad, the ugly all in one. So, um, there were other trailers available, uh, other trailer brands I looked at. I will say one thing, none of them were built as heavy as this trailer. None of them had that 10 inch I-beam. Um, this is a heavy built trailer. It will take the weight and take the abuse. Uh, paint, I was warned about Kaufman's paint before I ever bought a trailer. It's two things I was told. Warranty and paint will be your biggest issues. Luckily, I fixed a wire myself. I wasn't dragging the thing back to North Carolina to make him fix a wire. For that tail light, and another thing, that tail, or that uh, tag light, it's grounded to the steps. So when you grease that there rod really good, so the ramp slides good, you lose your ground, so you lose your light. So that's something I'm going to have to take care of. Uh, I didn't realize that until here it starts getting dark earlier. So, but anyhow, all in all, I would buy this trailer again, no hands down. The only thing I would tell them, I want them ramps a foot longer on each side. The one, the slide out ramp, I only want that 14 inches wide. I don't need a two foot wide slide out ramp. And that's pretty much it for hauling hay, hauling the skid loader. It works really well. It works really well for hauling hay. Uh, let's see if I can get my fingers in here at the right spot. I usually pull the skid loader up that the back wheel of the skid loader is right between the two axles. And when I haul the 400 on here, it that works perfect. It's loaded perfect at that. Uh, this load's loaded good because it's a thousand pound bucket sitting right there on the front. So it towed really good. I would have, yeah. So it, it was all right. So anyway, let me uh, set this camera down. And I'll flip this ramp and see, let you guys see how easy it uh, flips. Let's see if I got it there. I think I got it. I'd say they're spring loaded. Work really easy. But I don't know if you guys can see on camera, see the angle of the dovetail and then see the angle of the ramp. It's too steep. I haven't even tried to run that skid loader up on there forwards because I'm afraid it'll flip over backwards. So uh, I'm going to pause you here and then I'll take the, take the chains off of everything and I'll show you how I run that skid loader up and down on there.